I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I did to get 30 appointments in my calendar in a single month as a beginner. So what I did was I actually sent out personalized videos. So instead of just doing cold calling and cold emails that don't get opened, I actually personalized these emails that I was sending. And the way that I did that is was I created a list of, well, I didn't create, I gathered a list of about 3,000 leads. Uh, I did this by scraping uh, leads off the internet and I was able to create a quality, a good quality list of actual businesses that were in my niche, which was home remodeling. And I did this by scraping those. And then I actually created 20 email accounts. And once I created these email accounts, um, I was able to send a bunch of different emails without falling into spam. So the reason why you create a bunch of emails and you have them at one time is so that basically Google can't uh, detect that you're actually using so let's say you were using one account google would detect that you're sending a bunch of emails out and you would just fall into spam and then at the end of the day you get your main account banned and you can't send emails anymore so what i did was i created 20 email accounts with different names and they all had profile pictures and legit uh like bio like they had a legit characteristics so i gave them all names and basically I had my company number, my phone number on the bottom of each, uh, on the signature of each email. So it looked like there was a bunch of people in my business reaching out to people. And I would say, hey, if you like what you see here, this is my boss. Uh, he wants to get on a call with you. So please give him a call. And long story short, these people would call me and say, hey, is this, what's your, what's her name or what's his name? I used females as my, uh, basically my email accounts and they would be like, Hey, is this, uh, what's her name? Whatever. I had the name as the account. And I'd be like, no, but this is, uh, I run the agency. I'm actually the owner of my, the agency acrylic advertising. So then basically they would, that would force them to get on a call. But before we get to that, yeah, you want to create multiple emails so that you can send, you want to send a hundred emails per day. And that's what I did was I didn't go over 200. I mean, I didn't go over 100 per day. I could have went over, but you don't want to send less than that. And you don't want to send too much because you, you still don't want to get flagged. So I found a good spot for me was 100 emails per day. And basically, I would create these personalized videos where I would get on their websites and I would actually have a recording in place about what we do as a company and what type of ads we can run to get your business more recognition and bring clients in every single month to your to your company and it was for home remodeling so we would tell them that oh we can get you this amount of clients per month and uh, you don't really have to do anything we control all of your social media and all your advertising so a lot of these companies that I was working with actually had no social media presence. They didn't really have any sense of how to use technology. So this was great for me to step in and be able to offer our services. But we don't actually, when you create this personalized video, you don't actually give away your offer in the video. You wait till you get on the call. You just want to tease them pretty much. You want them to be intrigued enough to where they're going to actually hop on a call with you. They're going to book a call right away because they want to know exactly what you guys are offering and how you can help their company. So you basically want to say like, oh, oh, I can um, give you this X result in, in an X amount of time. And the reason the way that we do this is through our blank system, whatever your system is. It could be Facebook ads or whatever, but you you spruce it up to make it sound like it's some crazy system that's going to get them leads and clients every single month. So the re the way that I did this, going back to this is, um, we would send out personalized videos to where I would go on their website and I would have my recording pretty much pre-recorded so that I could use it on every single, I could use it as a template on every single uh, email that I would send out. I would use the same template like voice calls. I had three different, uh, 
I tested three different uh, voice recordings that I could use in various ways. So all you needed to do is create three audio clips of you explaining what you do and what your services are and how you can help a certain company. All you need is three recordings that are maybe a minute to a minute and a half long each, if that. And what you do is I pretty much ha used Loom to do this. And the way that I did it was so I would go on their website. I would record like my screen basically of me on their website and me actually scrolling through, clicking on stuff, actually like I'm reading through their website and basically learning about what they provide to their communities and whatnot. And as, as I'm scrolling through, they can see this on the video, on the Loom video, they see me going through their website. So I'm very interested in their company specifically. And at the same time, my recording's playing in the background. So they're hearing this and they're like, oh, this guy's reaching out to me specifically. He actually put in some work to do research on me instead of just blasting out a bunch of cold emails that don't have any basically there's no features inside the email that's saying anything personal so it's it's just you can tell that these emails are getting blasted out and that's the majority of the agencies that the agency owners that are just starting out are just blasting out emails and these companies can pick up on it like that and it's like once they pick up on it you're done and the mistake that they make is they continue to send these emails to a bunch of companies. So let's say you had a list of like the list I had of 3000 quality leads and you burnt through that list, sending cold emails of basically a template that was not personalized at all to fit the company that you're reaching out to. And you don't really know anything about them. So when they, a lot of the times they'll test, uh, they'll test us too, because when they respond to the emails, they'll say, hey, did you see this or did you see this? What is this? They'll ask you questions so that you know a little bit more about them and they feel more comfortable hopping on a call with somebody that is actually personalizing and taking time out of their day to make it personal for them so that you can actually bring them results specifically. If you send out a bunch of cold emails, they think that you're blasting every company in the US or wherever you're at and they pick up on that quick. So yeah, going back to what, what I did was I would create these videos and basically send a hundred out per day and you need to track which ones are getting opened, the amount that's getting open, um, the amount that's getting replies and you'll figure out that you need to either change your, the audio that you're using and that's why I had three different templates that I could use or you need to change your copy that you put on the, when you actually send the email, you need to have an intriguing, um, you need to have something that's gonna catch their attention to actually open it. And once they open it, they'll see that video as a, uh, basically like a, like a GIF, and they can just click on that. Because uh, when they see that, that's gonna catch their attention right away. If you put the, the, the one mistake that you can make is if you put the link in there, in the email as just a loom link, nobody's gonna open it. It has to be like a gift to where they can actually see that it's their website and that's gonna make them wanna click on it and actually get on and listen to what you're saying. So yeah, the so I started sending out 100 emails every single day and it took a minute for me to catch traction, but what I figured out with this method is that your results are going to come maybe like five days to a week after you actually sent the original email. So I was sending out these emails and they were getting opened. The number one thing also that you want to worry about is getting them opened because once they get them open, you're going to, th this is where you're going to book a lot of calls because it's just the, the amount of people seeing it. You're going to have a high percentage of booking an appointment when people actually see the email. If they don't ever open it, your percentages aren't going to be very high, but when you look at who's actually opening the emails, a lot of them, a lot of the time, the majority of the people that opened it are actually interested in talking back and forth with you, or they book a call right away. So, um, yeah. So when I was sending the emails, pretty much what I was doing was I would send them the emails that I would track who opens it. And then once they open it, I need to get on a call with them 
and that's where I, I a lot of the times they're going to go back and forth with you through email and you do whatever possible you can to push them to your calendar link and you just keep hammering that home until they actually book an appointment or you even pick up the phone and call them if they leave their number on their email signature sometimes getting on the phone with them is a lot easier because I've had times where I just had to pick up the phone, talk to people that aren't really that skilled with technology, and then personally text them my the link, and then they would just have to click, go to their text message, click on the link, and schedule a time. So, um, yeah, so w when you send the emails, you need to make sure that they're getting open correctly, and you need to... Um, basically worry about having it as a gift and not as a link because like i said if they don't see their website personally they're not going to even read through the email and they're just going to click off of it so if they see a link it's like this is a spam but if they see their their website in the back they're like oh and they automatically read it when they see their background they automatically read it when they see their website so i think that's the number one reason why they they book more appointments with this method is because it is very personal and a lot of not a lot of agency owners are doing this because everybody on YouTube, all the, the big agency owners just tell people most of the time that you need to do a bunch of cold calls and cold emails and just do thousands of that, thousands of those. And then you'll book you'll book appointments. But if you actually do a thousand random cold emails with spam, you're only going to book. Let's say I sent a thousand. Let's say I use the software to send a thousand emails in one day to a thousand different companies, I'm literally going to schedule maybe three appointments. If that, if that three, probably three people interested and wanted to hear more that that's not even including them scheduling an appointment yet. So it's like this method compared to that is like night and day because you can literally outsource this too is what this is what i did later on down the road as well is i was able to hire a va to actually send out these hundred emails every every day so i was just worried about getting the all i had to worry about was getting these leads for them and finding the information that my va needs to reach out to them and they would just record the loom videos off of my recording it took me three minutes to record three videos so i literally used those three clips gave it to my VA, they find uh, these companies' emails and they reach out to them, 100 per day. And literally, I'm doing other things at the time. I'm, I'm somewhere else and I see a company booked a, uh, an appointment in my calendar. So it was happening like that. And this is just something that you can actually scale towards. I still haven't gotten to the point yet where I'm sending more than 100. But you can easily do 200 or even more per day once you get to that point and you figure out how you how how to get them opened by these companies. When you figure out what's working best to get a, a great open rate, that's when you can start sending 200 or 250 emails per day. But pretty much this is what leads to this can lead to 20 to 30 booked appointments in your calendar without doing the type of cold calls and cold, cold emails that these gurus are teaching you on YouTube. Um, and so another thing is that after after you send out these emails, the most important factor of you getting booked appointments is you need to follow up with these with these leads. So if somebody's interested, if a company's interested in what you have to say, they automatically go to a folder in your email to where this is saying they're interested and that you need to keep following up with them. So if they don't book a call right away, you need to continue to follow up with them. It, I don't care how many times it takes. It might take five times to follow up with them until they book an appointment in your calendar. But you can't sometimes you can't just send one email. I can't just send the original email and expect everybody to open that and everybody to respond to it. These companies are busy pretty much throughout the entire day. So when you keep following up with them and hitting it over the head, sometimes they, they don't even know why they are booking the appointment, but they will actually schedule into your calendar. So like I've had times where <laughs> I've just hit people with follow ups. They said, oh, I want to learn more. And then 
the original follow-up, I was like, hey, we do this and this. Please book a uh, call into my calendar. And they didn't do it. And so I reached out to them like a week straight every day, just hitting them over the head. And then let's say on like the fifth day, fifth or sixth day, they're like, you suddenly see that they booked into your calendar and you're like, okay, they finally got the message and you get on a call with them and they're like, and you say, Hey, how did you, um, I see you, you booked the call. Were you very interested in what I was saying and all the follow-up emails I sent to you? And they'll say, honestly, I don't even remember like why, like what you guys offer. I just remember that it was something that caught my attention and I wanted to get on a call. You you were very persistent in your follow-up. And so I, I wanted to hop on the call and hear what you have to say. So it's not always about just your name. It's about you putting that in the back of their heads that they can grow their business. You can help them grow their business in certain ways that they don't have already in place for their businesses in order to be able to grow to where they want to be. So the number one thing that, that, is their problem is they have a pain of not being able to do something. And the only way you're going to get clients is if you're that person that can alleviate that pain and you can, you basically have the formula to the missing ingredient of what they're missing in their company. So follow-ups are a big thing because a lot of the times my open rate would have been, sometimes my open rate was not very good and it's not very good. And still I was able to um, after over time, these, the, these leads would actually turn into appointments because when I keep following up with them, then they actually get it in their head that this is something that's valuable. And maybe it is the time for me to do this. I said, I want to grow my company now. So why not take a call? And this is basically the key to getting them on a call. This isn't the key ingredient that's going to sign every single client that you get on a call with, but this is just helping you. Um, this is helping you solve the, your number one problem when you're running an agency and that's getting appointments booked into your calendar. The only thing that matters is appointments coming in. If you have 30 appointments or a hundred appointments per month, that's where you want to be. You want to be just you want to have a massive load of appointments every single month that's the key to growing your agency if you have two calls every single month you're never gonna get a client like you're gonna get one client every maybe like six months or so the more appointments you have booked the higher like the likelihood that you're gonna turn those appointments into clients so follow-up is the number one key for this guys in this system of personalized video outreach and this is really how I got 20 to 30 appointments in a single month. Well, in a single month by um, actually using this method to personalize my outreach instead of just sending cold emails to people that get blasted with the same emails every day from companies. And this is really going to help when you guys implement this system into your business you're going to see your agency is going to start growing automatically because you're going to have more booked appointments. So guys, just if you want to learn more, just uh, follow me on Instagram. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and send me a DM.